This is how evil geniuses became world champions. In the first half of this 23 round slugfest, we witnessed gigabrain outplays, toe curling aces, and this door opening. A lot. But today, the heat gets even hotter as we behold a masterclass raise on raise duel. Game plans that'll completely revamp the way you think about this game and clutches that'll blow your mind. This is Valorant being played at the highest level. So join me as we embark on this action-packed thriller of a game and find out how EG closed out this match and carved their names in the Valorant Hall of Fame. Attacking on Lotus is like a big game of cat and mouse. Because the map is so spread out and sites are hard to hold as defenders, you're forced to fight one side of the map and leave the other sides weaker. So if you notice most of the defense fighting somewhere, that means that other places must be weaker. Uh, go ahead, pull your knife out and get there as fast as you can and abuse the hole left by defenders. But it isn't that simple at this high level of Valorant. Mind games run rampant and are what wins teams championships. EG start in a 1-3-1 default and just like their opponents in last video are farming up Raze's showstopper. Now Paper X begin in a 1-2-2 spread, but that quickly changes as Sky throws her flash for B main to apply fake pressure, but then immediately heads back to A to form a 3 stack with her team. But that bird went caca! Someone's there. So Omen smokes it off. The offense flash back in response, and after realizing no one's there, Jogamo gets his first orb. But are they going to turn back and run into these four people on A now? They might, because Forsaken has walked out of C, smoked main for himself, and has tapped the door. When a team opens the door like this, plus a smoke, that means multiple players are here fighting this space. But that's not the case this time. Astra just has balls of steel. She's trying to make enough pressure so the attackers feel uncomfortable and just go A and into their three stack. So how how do EG clear this potential danger? They decide to plant Kildra here and group up as three outside of C main. Three, two, one. At the same time, Kildra flips the door open. Their dog snuffs out the area and Astra places a star ready to trap anyone inside. EG have pinched the area and cleared it out. Now with all that pressure they just made towards C, they think that Paper Rex are going to rotate that way, but they aren't. Forsaken is calling out that he doesn't see or hear anything and tells his teammates to hold their ground. Now EG are sprinting through their spawn. They meet up with Kam and are running into a four stack. EG are walking back into the blender right now. Something oh. nearly caught face check in the wall. But 30 seconds left, EG have to find a kill. Yeah, they're struggling right now. They're just kind of being halted at the door. Jorgamo off to a quick start, but Jing gonna stride on forward and chase him away. After getting belted with a paranoia, a trailblazer, paint shells, and a gravewell, EG figured out quick that this was a trap and they bolted out of there quicker than my dad did when he went to go get milk. They realize that C is the weak site and Bustio has found a timing into B. He should be able to catch Paper X on their way over. Towards B is the next option, but it's not like Mind Free Game watching towards this. But Bustio's gotten ahead. The flash, it didn't pop, and he takes the head of Mind Freak. They're going all the way to C. I just want to point out how Bustio knew this flash wasn't going to pop until past this smoke, which is why he never tried to turn it. But because Paper X don't have a Sentinel, timings like these are possible. Now with only 15 seconds left, Forsaken can't stop the hoarder of attackers. EG get the plan off, and after this big game of cat and mouse, EG win the pistol. And yes, every round in this video is played at this high of level. Now before we get to the bonus, just look at how much damage Jogamo did with his Ares on the anti-eco. Knowing that teams love to scale up this way, and the fact that PRX might go for the orb, Jog was able to rip their HP apart. And then look at how EG farmed orbs for him. While Demon 1 fought off this B aggression, Jogamo grabbed the C orb, Ethan tossed in the spike, and he satcheled up just in time to get the plan off. You see a lot of good teams do this. But these anti-ecos should be used to start building up your ultimate economy, so that during the later swing rounds, you can have things like a a rocket launcher, which can definitely make a round easier. But now it's EG's bonus, but both teams' game plans look pretty similar to last. Jogamo is only two orbs off his showstopper, so they're stopping here first for the extra point. And Paper X have four people once again ready to brawl for rubble, but leave one here so the other three can go reinforce the rest of the map. Com starts by smoking the rubble cross, but Paper X hit back with their paint shells, a one way, and sky flash to double check that no one's crossed. They've secured A and leave Mind Freak to spot it, but EG have grabbed their power pellet and are pivoting to C after hearing all of that on A to fight Forsaken head on. Forsaken, but 
He's got five against him. His teammates are on B. He, maybe, maybe he needs some help here. Someone bail out Forsaken, please. He's trying to stand a fight. But there's an army in his way. EG overwhelmed. They're going to get an upgrade. But trying to get quick to a Jing. Tries to deny them. Slows them down. Holds them back. But he gets broken in on. Neither player can stop EG's death ball. And with Giacomo Showstopper here on the third round of the half, it's creating so much breathing room for his teammates to safely get a plant off. Just like me in high school, the sheer presence of this ultimate alone is enough to drive people away. But if you look closely, something has timing the dog and the rocket, and he goes to make a play. Something lucky oh to be alive. What's he doing? The paranoia's gone in. He's just standing there, Giacomo punishes this. He can't find one. Three versus two, and after hearing the door open and Sky Flash Waterfall, EG immediately reposition and start planning for spawn, and the clutch begins. They're creeping closer. There's nowhere safe in this mind freak with a huge pickup towards Ethan. Demon one still standing. It's a 1v1. Demon one wins it! EG! EG have taken the lead, and Paper X's coach is not happy. PRX were knocked onto an eco, and EG took advantage. After just using the Raze Rocket, they managed to farm enough kills, an Ult Orb, and a Spike Plant, and just like that, Jogamo is only one more point off his ult. It's going to be five rounds, and he's going to have used his Showstopper twice. Hmm, maybe some of these ult cost nerfs weren't too bad. Regardless, Paper X's coach is upset and calls a timeout. Yeah! Relax, bro, it's only a game. Both teams are coming into this round with brand new game plans. Paper Rex know that EG are going to grab an orb somewhere to get their rocket launcher online. So they have a trap set up on C and on B. They have a star in the orb so Astro can suck it and spam through this door with a Odin. But there's one problem. EG knows that Paper Rex knows that they're going for an orb. And the hardest one to get in this map is on A since it's defender sighted. So the defense would never expect for them to push this way, especially when they're opening the round with a nano swarm grav wall combo to prevent the defenders from peeking out. This is emulating a C take, but there's only crickets. This fake pressure is planting PRX here while the offense safely scales up A. This orb was left defenseless, and the C players have finally figured out that no one's here. But it's too little too late. Jogamo has his ult, and they have a free sight. Especially with their Cosmic Divide, a Gravwell, and their Trailblazer all being invested, Divai has no choice but to play retake. But wait a second, where are Paper Rex headed? Oh no, are they really all going to go through this tiny door? door. They can be funneled through this. The comm just keeps spraying. If they keep looking this way, this could be a disaster, but Jinx made it ahead. 41 HP and a bit of a dream here. He's trying to play towards the back line. Break Demon 1, break Com. He's done the best he could. Divide by his side, they get a two for one trade. Demon 1, Ethan and Bustio make it just Demon 1 and Bustio. Can they hold? Demon 1 does the damage, slips away, depends on Bustio, but the cross is made. After planning for A main, EG never expected for almost every defender to retake through this door. They use their double smokes to isolate Rubble. With them, they flash Jing through, hoping to later wrap them in Pinch Tree, but they didn't know EG was all back here as well. And then Mind Free came and wrapped spawn so late, expecting EG to push here since they all came through secret, but it took so long that Bustio never expected this backstab. Demon 1's left in a 1 versus 3, but with a grab well online, it's winnable. Is made, and now it's all on Demon 1, and he is looking up to the challenge. Diffuse started and ain't stopping, takes him away, but Mind Free survives. Paper Rex got bamboozled in the early round last time, but they doubt EG are going to hit A again that hard. They're sticking to their guns and want this trap set up to work, and it looks like it will. The attackers have three players ready to snag this orb, with Killjoy only three away from her lockdown. She's also invested an op into this round, but with this star guarding the entrance, it might get shut out. The offense starts off pretty passively. Jogamo is jump spotting mound with a potential grav well near the entrance to punish a peek. He doesn't spot anyone, and this area is quiet. Too quiet. Jog walks up near the orb, but PRX strikes. Any pressure on Forsaken? He's taken the swing and he's taken his life. Jogamo down. The defense has taken down EG's entry. But what triggered this trap? 
How did Paper X know that this was the time to punish? Are they using wall hacks? Dude, no, it's not walls. But instead, Paper X just used whatever information that they had. Look, at the beginning of the round, Sky's bird didn't tag anyone on A, and neither her or Jet heard anything. So by process of elimination, EG had to be in this area. Kind of like how when you're taking a multiple choice test and you know two of the answers aren't right. I mean, the third might be okay, but you're confident in that fourth one. So you choose it. Paper X just trusted their gut, and the trap looked really well thought out. Omen paranoia to this entire right side, while Astro's nebula and Raze's pain shells locked people out of this area or blew up this back line. And because the right and back side are covered, look closely as Astro pre-fires the left side, not giving Jagamo even a chance to fight back. His teammates tried to help out, but the op got smoked off and the flash couldn't get through the explosion. After this play, Paper X immediately dispersed to get ready and respond to EG's next plan of action. Sky flashes A in case someone walked up, Astra places a star on the B orb, and she and Ray's rotate off to reinforce the rest of the map. Now, despite getting shell shocked on C, the attackers have a backup plan. With Mound being heavily contested, they're going to try and set up Kildra and her op to lurk on A, maybe get tagged by a couple sky flashes so that the defense thinks that they're there, while her teammates actually go re hit C. So Viper deploys her smokes. Their dog turns the corner, clears the area, and Bustio is now set up. The rest of EG back off and rotate back towards the left part of the map. But while that's happening, Device sends out a bird deep towards Rubble. It attacks someone, but the defense aren't moving. There's no point. They have wind conditions set up on each lane. Rays and Astra are close enough to A to rotate over and flood in to help their sky. Plus, Rays does have her showstopper up. On B, something has an op in a dirty off angle, and Omen can safely spot C and play the 5v4 re take with that rocket launcher I mentioned earlier. So there's just no need to rotate right now. Paper Rex are comfortable and are letting EG come to them. Mind Freak hears the attacker stars getting placed, their seekers on the prowl, and that's all he needed to get off site and prepare for the retake. EG are storming the site, but Paper X are fast on the reinforcements. The attackers know they're down numbers, so they try to push spawn and make a play. Comes playing ahead and that's so smart. A deep bit of utility gonna make this harder for them. Showstopper goes above, but he's still gonna catch Comp for the reveal. Couldn't make the most of it there, Demon 1. This is great from Paper X, holding this together. Bustio and Ethan. They've got the plant, but can they hold the post? Ethan staying close. Overwhelm! Jing's in there! And now all on Bustio in a 1v5! Paper X! Despite getting smacked down on mound last round, EG's goal is to grab two ultimate orbs and use their lockdown to secure them the site. The defense cannot let this happen. This ultimate is just too strong. Now, because PRX just trapped C, the attackers are betting that they don't do that again. And they'd be correct. The defense has three people towards A, expecting evil geniuses to come this way now, but they aren't. Now, in case Paper X were contesting mound, the offense hits hard behind in an instant flash. Suck. Dragon Ball double satchels forward, and his teammates are behind him this time. Because of this same star, Paper X conditioned EG into thinking they could possibly pull off the same stunt, which explains all this aggressive utility. But by being so close to their lockdown, the offense feel like this is a safe investment. The op was forced to back off, and EG plant their turret and dip out quick. Something has broken the bot, but the attackers have their knives out and are sprinting to this next orb. And it's at this moment where Paper X realize what's happening. EG are grabbing the last Infinity Stone. Omen sees nothing A, so they have three players forming a mid-round punish for this ult point. Divai uses his Trailblazer to confirm their suspicions, but all of EG tuck, hide, and have Bustio shoot it all by himself. This looks like a lurk, and not three people. But Paper X aren't convinced. We have a six-person brawl for this one orb. Paper X walking this. This is just gonna be a brawl in middle. This is obscene. There's a player so close by. Paper X needs to be so careful about this one. Jorgamo ready to punish, and he does. Gets Jing down. Flash to follow. They're in danger. Jorgamo getting hungry for it. EG have claimed this extra point, and Bustio plants his alarm bot to cap off the taken space. The offense have accomplished their goal and have activated their lockdown to flush out sight. Paper X's worst nightmare has just become a reality. This ultimate has ripped the sight away from them. EG file in, claim their territory, but Paper X are striking back quick. The paranoia is going. Does he play off the back of this? Doesn't see it on the standard spot, but it's gonna do some damage. Take away Ethan. Chip away, but it's still just three, and with the operator, it's brutal to try and play it. Jorgamo getting aggressive, and oh, he's just adding bodies to the count. Jorgamo unleashing fury. He's ridiculous today. 
After that dominant display of masterful mechanics, Jogimo is on fire, and EG are going to ride his momentum. For the first time this half, EG are slamming A hard, and this is the perfect time to do so as Paper X have spread back into a 2-1-2 ready to fight the wings setup. Jogimo flies past the buy barrier behind his satchel, Ethan's flash, and the defense were taken by surprise. Jet and Sky fall back and drag their omen over to help out. While Raze grabs a free orb, EG get ready to hit. The boombot goes out, three stars get placed, the trailblazer and door both get activated, and Jogamo pushes in the stairs. But it's all a fake! The offense has juked the defense and are pivoting back towards B. Jogamo knows that Paper Rex are going to rotate this way to head towards sight, and he's found a timing. Consideration in Mind Freak's mind. He's turned to take a glance, but he's seen a victim. It's been called out. James has told him! Oh, Mind Freak gets the trade, but is that the damage done? Jogamo's gotten one and a half, and his teammates got the god plant. But Paper X forces Sky to slide to the right. And she still gets the plant off? Uh, uh, okay. Paper X have accepted the fact that they have to play retake. But with Astro's Kazakh Divide, one of the best retake ults in the game, that's exactly what they wanted. The defenders move into position and wall off both secret and main. Ethan is isolated, but he's still ready to boogie. But can they divide and conquer now? Ethan still the like gonna eat the flash turn in time. Goes back for more. Chip damage left, chip damage right. He's looking to punish this pop flash. Yes, he's got it. Con there, Forsaken breaks in. Overwhelmed, Paper X. Paper X have reclaimed the site, but can these two pull off a miracle? You didn't turn around. You didn't check behind you. And of course. This round the world flank and Demon 1's perfectly timed star just bagged their team another round. Before, you could hear slightly past the Astral Wall, and Demon 1 waited about 2 seconds before using his gravity well to pull the diffuser off. And because Com's flank took so long, this created the possibility that he could come from B main, heaven, or even secret. EG are only a few rounds away from destiny. Jogamo is on a tear. He feels unstoppable and has looked like it these last few rounds. This time, the main character and his friends have another explosive play to make. I can start tasting this. Can Paper X stop it? Can they hold anything? Oh! Oh! Jogamo is playing Duck Hunt and has blasted something to smithereens. And EG keep pushing forward. Triple stars. Boombot. But it's another fake. The attackers are headed towards B again, but the head of the snake is coming with them. The trailblazer clears waterfall so Jogamo can safely nade heaven. Forsaken is trying to find some spam with his Odin. He takes on Bustio, but Jogamo shuts him up. And Mind Freak trades him. Three versus three. Ethan plants in pit. Activates his Seekers to find the remaining players, but Jing swings out and takes him down. Then Demon 1 smoke fades and he gets the trade. 2 versus 2. Device snuffs out Comms Lurk, but a perfectly placed snake bite helps drag him down. 2 versus 1. Mind Freak knows where the two remaining players are and goes to make a push. 12. He's looking for it. He's desperate for it. Can he save Paper X? Not today! EG are one round away from greatness. Match point and EG have Paper X in a blunder. The past two rounds, they've slammed a site, but now they flip the script and are pounding C instead. And they've got Paper X fooled. Just look at how many players they have ready to duke it out for rubble. All of this utility they're dumping is a waste. And because Viper sees all of this, she's yelling at her teammates that C site is but naked. Forsaken tried to slow the offense down with a one way in rat smoke, but those are quickly exterminated. He rushes back to site. Tries to take a few shots, but Ethan fires back, and he's low. Jogamo rockets into sight, looking to run him down, but Forsaken has fled. Paper X have no choice but to play the retake. Now against a Viper's Pit? Yeah, you know how this goes. Com spreads out his ult. Ethan plants inside, and Demon 1 peeks the main and tries to catch a rotator. He can't get his, and Paper X go to clear him out. But Demon 1 isn't there anymore. He's felt like he's created enough pressure to stall the defense even further. But instead, he's given them an idea. Leroy Jenkins! No, no, stop, stop, wait, come here, Jet. Viper's Pit is hard to clear out when charging in head on. She'll just funnel us in and destroy us with spam and mollies. But what if we pinch from a potential third angle? They have a vice-like grip with the Viper's Pit set up here. The divide will go up as well, cause more problems. Paper Exo, they're not gonna get aggressive. Jing, desperate for it. He will do everything he can for his side. For that one last time, that one last round, Mind Freak towards Bustio, they're trying desperately, they still need to get towards the spike, it's all on Demon 1, in a 1v3, can he do it right here, right now, Diffuse started, he can't! 
What a retake from Paper X to keep them alive. Not only did they open this door to retake from a secret third angle, but they used their double smokes to completely isolate the site players. These two bubbles made this technically a three versus five. Even with the cosmic divide, Jet dashed out and Ray satchered out with her showstopper to create insurmountable amounts of pressure that suffocated EG. Whenever you're retaking C site, you need to use this door. And in this round, it was the MVP. Potter takes a timeout to reel her team back in. We're gonna, We're gonna win, win, guys! We're gonna win! Okay. Guys, guys, snap out of it. We haven't won yet. Please focus and don't blow this. EG felt like they should have won last round, but their coach has calmed them down and has formed a strong game plan to close out the match. Since they're on match point, they don't really need to win this one. I mean, sure, it'd be nice, but their goal is to make sure they're in the perfect position to win next round. That would explain the two stingers they bought, even though they can full buy, and the slow pace that they're about to play at. Now, Paper X don't want to let them grab these power-ups and their initial 3-0-2 spread. These two start the round with a nade, flash, stun, but... Paper X don't care about A. Well, they know that whenever they've shown heavy pressure on A, EG have taken other parts of the map. So they're on their way towards B, but it's too late. EG have already scaled up and have grabbed that orb. Now Paper X have the C point trapped and B was open, but Omen smokes B main in a way that it creates a strong crossfire between him and his C teammates. They open the door, but no one's there. This could mean two different things. EG are either headed towards C or A. So Mind Freak drops back to cover this potential gap they left open, while his two brawlers stay on B. But little do they know, the attackers are grouped up outside of C and are hungry for this olive. He's waiting. This guy is pixel perfect. Forsaken's the one to find it. Oh, no. He's just been caught the Forsaken sprayed through the pull deck star and got one as EG were crossing, but the pressure has gotten to something as he accidentally face plants into the wall. This is a disaster for PRX. The game is slipping away. Even player counts always favor the attackers, especially on a map with three sites and you have no sentinel. EG also have gotten another orb. A stinger got upgraded to a vandal and the attackers are pushing this button to create all the noise in the world. They could be doing anything. And it's just when you thought things couldn't get any worse. They do. The defense desperately needs information, but not like this. Devi flashes front B, but it tags Astra, who's headed towards A. So Paper X think that the offense are in this area, but they aren't. And there's more. Just to confirm their suspicions, Mind Freak has ulted through the Viper Lurk Smokes and hasn't spotted anyone. And he's right next to him. There's no reason why Paper X should even consider it to be A, but they've gotten so unlucky. EG are here and start their execute. The smokes go in, they flip the door open to Pinch Tree, Raze grabs another orb, and then plants. With a showstopper now online, Paper X are going to have a rough time retaking. Divide peeks out from dugout, gets one. Omen blinds for him, but gets traded. Well, there goes our showstopper. Three versus three. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is where history was made. Step into the ring. Demon one on the other side. Ethan's found. Mind Freak is down to two. This could be it. Another chance for G. It's all over. EG. All of the blood, sweat, and tears has finally paid off for evil geniuses. Their masterful game planning, world-class coaching, and out-of-this-world button mashing has been rewarded with a title that very few people can call themselves. Valorant World Champions.